Clean, Clean, feminine, feminine hygienic, hygienic, brown, brown roach, roach come rat, makeup rat, tutorial. Makeup. God, guys, if I hear that one more time, I think I'm gonna lose it. I feel like that kind of look is just impossible on brown skin. But I was like, you know what? Let me try it. And it blew me away. I looked unrecognizable because I stole a lot of makeup tricks from TikTok and it changed my face and everyone was like, she got work done. I'm like, aha, uh -huh. it's time for a makeup tutorial. Let's begin, shall we? You're not ready. Trust me, I have some crazy tricks in here. We're starting with my forehead, okay? Um, I'm really changing the shape of my forehead. I'm gonna use got to be gel if you know, you know. I'm gonna lower my forehead and this changed my face shape and everyone's like something is off with Ansi's face what did she do it's this it starts with this i hated how my hairline looks i'm not saying i have like a receding hairline i have a good hairline but i just wanted to make them like fuller and i made them square i changed the shape of my hairline what so i made them square um it looks a bit off right now but trust me uh when i have makeup on and everything you're not gonna notice it but this is like right in front of your face right now but it gets better i promise you and then i'm using got to be's um brow gel so yes i changed completely the shape of my brows and this fully switched my face up and everyone's like she got something done to her eyebrows i'm like nope it's makeup first brow gel all over and mind you do you see the corners of my eyebrows like the tail of my eyebrows they look a bit faded because that's an eyebrow tattoo i did get microblading done that is not my real brow so i would suggest i would recommend shaving off the tail of your brow and like concealing it because that's what i would do if i were you i just don't have hair on the tails of my brow so i could easily conceal it the trick to get in like a quick facelift in my opinion is to lift the edges of your brows okay you got to fully take it down do you see how my brows like they kind of go downwards so i don't like that anyway i need some time for the brow gel to set so i'm gonna come back to it later but let's go back to the face listen Put this aloe vera gel on and go get yourself this new face device. Yes, I found this on TikTok, okay? And I got it. It's quite expensive. But trust me, I have endometriosis and I fully have bloated, fat, chubby cheeks, face, and a lot of double chin. So um, I like this device because it really gives me that like, I don't know, 12 hours of confidence because it doesn't stay long. It's not permanent. I'm going to promise you it's going to fall off maybe in 13 hours of like doing this. So what I do is I kind of suck my cheeks in and then I keep dragging it and it really does lift my cheeks like it's not a gimmicky product because you know it looks like one and i would recommend using aloe vera gel and not like the expensive cream that it comes with look at the difference this is the not contoured face it's a little chubby and this is the contoured face can you see how sharp my jawline looks like tell me i'm crazy so um yeah i love this product this is like a staple in my makeup routine i cannot live without this guy um but remember this doesn't last that's very crucial, so I don't want to like trick you or whatever. I am probably the last one to get the NARS pot concealer, but let's go back to the brows. The brows are set, right? Now look at this, look at the tail, okay? I can easily conceal it because it's flat for me. I have no hair there. So if you have hair, go and shave the like the little um, tail of your brow. And then I go back with some poor, um, what is it? Some poor primer thing from Dr. Brand and then Here's the thing, let that eyebrow concealer sit in, right? For the snow makeup, makeup look, go in with the heavy, thick concealer. So I'm using the NARS concealer and a tiny brush. Look at the size of that brush, it's so tiny. I just zoom into my face and I go over my imperfections, like little acne spots, little freckles maybe here and there. I just go in one by one and I only dot that area, okay? Do not go crazy with your concealer because that's when people can clock that, oh, she has makeup on. Do you know what I mean? Secondly, I don't have under eye bags. Like I don't have like, like, bag situation under my eye but i do have those like lines i think it's because i have big eyes i have those like weird pouch line thing so i only carefully literally conceal that line do not do the whole triangle highlight concealer thing trust me that gives it away that you have makeup on and be very careful with your eyes do not put any concealer on your eye trust me it's all gonna make sense at the end but if you follow this routine i swear to god i've literally gotten away from being like oh yeah i don't have any makeup on this is what i naturally look like but i literally have this full face of makeup on okay trust me so going in with the brush you want to push the product in do not swipe. And the thing with concealer is that I think you should only target your problematic areas. So if, for me, it's my mouth, but if it's not the math for you, then don't do what I'm doing. Like, please do makeup according to your face and your needs. So POC, we usually have like dark pigmentation on our lips and I like to fully conceal that. But if you don't have this, don't do that. Skip on this completely and just stick to your imperfections. Do you know what I mean? So back to the brows and listen, this is my favorite part because this fully transformed my face. I will fully conceal it. And I accidentally took an eyeshadow brush here, but anyway. Go in with a face powder that's your skin and conceal your brow. Like, look at that, okay? And then I go in with bronzer and I conceal that again. Mm. Nice and blended it is with my skin. Like, you can tell I have like an eyebrow tail in there. So, um, I wish I didn't have that though, Ugh, but it's like tattooed into my face, so I can't take it out. But yeah, I love how that looks. It's amazing how I fully blurred that part of my eyebrow. Now I take a brow pencil. This has to be NYX Cosmetics Ebony and 
I pull out the tail of my brow, but I keep it short and that instantly lifted up my face. I naturally have very short, skinny, um, chubby, uh, not chubby, stubby <laughs> brows. So I'm just sticking with my natural shape and I would suggest doing the same thing. And I would also suggest taking the pencil and just going in the front and like flicking it up and creating some brow hairs, right? Um, yeah, I do that and I fill the brows with some dark brown shadow. And this is literally how I have like a brow lift effect because everyone's like, she has a tape. She has the Bella Fox filter, eye temple surgery, cat, mouse, dog, eye lift. I'm like, girls, no, it's makeup. But look at that, oh my God, I love my brow so much. Okay, listen, second product, go, run. Go to It Cosmetics, go get their glow CC cream. This is not foundation, not concealer, not foundation. This is a CC cream. So this has SPF in it. So that's why when I first put it, you're gonna be like, this is Ash City. It's really gray. When you're POC and you put SPF, it comes off so purple and gray for a second, like that white cast, and then it fades away. It's the same thing with this tint, okay? So it's a CC cream. Be patient with it, because when the girl like who put it on me, I was like, girl, this is literally not my shade. She's like, oh, it's a little ashy, because this it has sunscreen, it's amazing. But you need your makeup to marinate into your skin. And I mixed two of these shades in. Um, I'll put the shades in the description. And also, you guys, for the first time, I think in 24 years, I go to Sephora to like, you know, get like makeup and whatever like there's a huge sale everywhere so i go and this girl's like um girl you're girl, not you're warm not toned warm. and i'm like huh what she's like yeah you're neutral and i'm like no way no way in my entire life have i been doing makeup i find out now that i'm actually not warm tone at all no wonder none of my foundations or concealers ever matched me she's like you're neutral and i'm like kill me great uh great realization in the middle of like black friday but so that's why for the first time ever my makeup looks so good because i match myself the right way secondly the key to coming off like oh you don't have makeup on like that kind of look avoid eyes never ever ever put makeup in your eyes under your eyes outside your eyes over your eyes with concealer or any creamy products okay let your natural eyeshadow peek through i'll come back to that in a second but trust me on this i'm gonna go on to this charlotte tilbury contour cream contour i love him so much um this is literally the dupe for the chanel one if you know you know um i take a little skinny little brush look at how skinny that is and i literally draw the natural shadows of my face this is a natural shadow of my face if it's not for you do not copy this map that I'm drawing on my face, stick to your shadow. So you could have lower cheekbones, higher cheekbones, bigger forehead, no forehead, no temples, whatever it is. And if the sun were to burn me that day, this is exactly where I would get burned. And please put contour on your temples. Avoid your cheekbone area. Leave that, do not touch it. No product on there, kids. Okay, leave it as it is. So for my nosy, I came up with this trick where I can put like a line in the center of my nose. This only works if you have a bulbous nose. Just keep that in mind. Two lines on my nose and I naturally have a shadow on the top of my chin. So I just put a little contour there. Found these two blushies. They're from NYX Cosmetics. The shades are so stunning and they're so creamy. Um, but I love to mix my blush shades to get the perfect like rosy, dusty rose pink color for my skin tone. It's really hard to find something like this. So I got very excited because I saw this. Okay, who remembers Milk Jump? pencil like this is an og <laughs> makeup product but i got one of that um we'll come back to that later but blend in your makeup remember to push push the product into your face into your skin stipple that in don't drag right look at my forehead look at my forehead and tell me if that's not like a natural sunburn tish look take your contour draw in a line on the middle of your neck right in the center of your neck and then a v shape on the top like that it's kind of like a trophy in a weird way and then blend that in i don't know what this does but it kind of gives you an illusion that you have like a sharp chiseled v-shaped face shape that's like the ideal face shape apparently for women it's like more feminine looking so i've been doing that i found that on tiktok so um it does work blend in your blush your concealer your foundation everything look at my face stop look at how beautiful my face looks right then i have the little indent line on my under eye do you see that take a sponge okay dip it into some powder i'm using huda beauty easy bake powder i think in the shade pound and push this motherfucker into your eyes i mean you should go literally blind how flawless and face tuned does that side look P -p push your eyeball all the way back to your cranium. Is that the cranium? I don't know. I failed signs, y'all. I still get like an F, G, I think. The grades were really low back in the day. Anyway, so um, look at my eyes. Tell me if that's on flawless, right? It's amazing. Now we touch the eyes, okay? So after I've baked my eyes, I go back with a face powder that's of my skin color. And then I'll go and I'll put that all over my lid. And then I'll take my bronzer and go back for my eyes. And this is for the lower lash line. If you see what I'm doing is basically... 
I'm bringing back shadow into my face. So that's when you get the, oh, she has no makeup on. Like boys, you know how dumb boys are? Like they don't really understand when you have makeup on. Like I'll have a full face of makeup on and they look at me here and they'll be like, oh my God, she's so naturally pretty. Like she has no makeup on. And the tip, the secret, the trick is just bringing back the shadow back to your face, you know? Back to blush, I'm using Ambering Rose by MAC and always apply more blush than you think you need because blush fades. It's the first thing that's gonna fade um, when your makeup fades away, so. I apply I apply a lot because by the time I get in the car, it's like gone. Then I use the Milk Jumbo Pencil for the inner corner, tip of the nose, the bridge of my nose, my chin. These are my natural highlighting points, so I'm following exactly what I naturally have. So if you don't have like a shiny chin, do not apply it, okay? Blend that in and then you top it up with some highlighter. So then I go in with Lime Crime's Freckle Pen. They have a freckle pen. You want to get this guy. I've tried the whole like creating fake freckles with a brow pencil or whatever. They just never looked cute. It's so ugly. I'm sorry. So, so I just got a freckle pen from Lime Crime. For lips, I used MAC Cork and then I went in with Clinique's Black Honey. Again, this is a viral trending product on TikTok. Everyone has this guy. I tried so many combos, you guys. I'm so sorry. Like, look at this mess. Oh my God. Like applying and taking it off and applying and I'm like, okay, this looks nice, but I changed my mind again. But if you like this lipstick look, I'm gonna put the combo on the screen so you know what I used. Um, next, listen to me, when it comes to lashes, no. No more fake lashes, okay? No more fake lashes. I have a lash lift here. You use your eyelash curler for 30 seconds. Exactly 30 seconds on each eye. You have to literally put a timer on your phone. Do not take it before then. I use Grande Lash to grow my lashes and that's why my lashes are so long. Um, They made my lashes literally reach up to my eyebrow. Then I use Essence Green Mascara and this is where I fumbled the bag. I totally forgot. I'm just like a creature of habit, but do not put your mascara on your roots. Like I am doing it here. Do not do this. This is the biggest mistake ever. If you want your lashes, just to stand up straight, point the ceiling and not in like a fetal position and curl down in like two hours of putting your mascara on. Put the mascara on the tip of your lashes, okay? So after this, I use L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. She's my favorite mascara. And it's only when I apply now, I'm like, Fuck, I fucked up. I shouldn't have touched the roots. This is how you're supposed to do it, okay? Both mascaras only touch the tips of your lashes and keep going in and out. Do not ever touch the roots of your lashes because that's how the lashes fall. I should stay up all night, all day, okay? So trust me, I stole her from TikTok. I'm a stealer or whatever. Okay, so what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I am changed my lips again. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I, I keep going in and out for my lips, but here I basically used a uh, MAC lip liner in cork. I used MAC burnt pepper um, blush and I pat it onto my lips like that. I love this lips. Oh my god, my lips are so pretty. And then on top of that, I'll just put some lip balm and then I went back in with the blush. I love this blush look. It's my favorite blush. You can see how, see how damaged the blush is. God, I love this blush. Then I'll use the same blush on my cheeks as a last, like a little, a little blush blush because my blush faded away. So that's that. What else did I do here? What's left? What's this? Oh, so I'm not done with lips again. I'm going in with, oh, this is the M Cosmetics gloss. I will leave the shade below. Um, who runs that? Michelle Fawn. So her brand's really good. I love this blush. I apply the blush. I dab a little bit, go back on the blush again, and then again, in and out. But yeah, I always mess with my lips, but um, this is the finished look. You guys, when I go out looking like this, boys are so stupid. They were like, oh my God, you're so naturally pretty. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Full eyes. I'm a big liar, okay? I have a full face of makeup on and I can get away from just being like, oh, we yeah, have no makeup on. And this is not cakey, you guys. I took so many pictures, flash pictures, whatever. And this is what the pictures look like. I'm telling you, no pores, nothing, no texture. My skin is flawless and it's that skin tint and this whole routine that I've been doing for the past few days now. And people always ask me, what do I do to my skin? And it's this, like, it's just such a pretty look, you know? Try this routine, let me know in the comments down below. Follow me and subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video.